If you're a young woman wanting to start a family later down the road, egg freezing may be a viable option. I think that all comes back to the way that our age, our eggs in a sense age as we get older. And so, you know, unfortunately women compared to men are designed really different where women have, I always kind of think of it as we have a basket of eggs from birth, whereas men are little sperm factories. <laughs> And they're always kind of making sperm for their whole lives that are fresh. So in a way, women are a little bit compromised. Women in their 20s and 30s are prime candidates. You can freeze the eggs at a younger age. So for people that are maybe in like their later 20s or 30s and they haven't met the man of their dreams or they're waiting to be a little bit more financially stable or they're in school and they want to wait for a little while, in order to build their family, they will sometimes do the egg freezing so they can basically suspend their fertility in time. Conway says at the beginning of the process, women are given injectable hormones for 10 days. It basically tricks their body into growing. Instead of like in a normal cycle, you just grow one egg a month and release that one egg each cycle. Mm -hmm. We're gaming the system in a sense by putting them on these hormone shots to get them to grow maybe, you know, 15 to 30 eggs all at the same time. At the end of the 10 day period, the patient undergoes an egg retrieval procedure. We have a lot of equipment just to make sure that we can administer anesthesia <laughs> safely, but they're really only out for maybe 15, sec 15 minutes or so. And then once the eggs are retrieved, there's this little sneaky door back here. <laughs> so that door will be a little window back into the embryology lab, and so the eggs are retrieved in the follicular fluid that they come out in, and they get passed immediately back into the embryology lab, where our embryologist, whose name is Tina, she sorts through all that fluid and she separates all the eggs away, so by the time the patients leave the office, they will know exactly how many eggs were retrieved for freezing. Conway says egg freezing is also an option for women who want to donate their eggs to intended parents or for those who are about to experience chemotherapy. If their oncologist feels it's safe, we often will do egg freezing before they start chemotherapy because if they're on chemotherapy, that can also wipe out and also affect the quality of their eggs down the road. I really think anybody that's thinking about it and stressing out about their future fertility potential and that wants to kind of have that, it's almost like an insurance backup plan. In Idaho Falls, I'm Natalia Hepworth, eastidahonews.com.